Brooklyn Independent Television. Some of Brooklyn's best artists, animators, and graphic novelists gathered this month for the first ever comic and animation convention. Dubbed King Con, the event brought out the borough's most passionate comic book fans. And our reporter, Fred Brown, was around town to scope it all out. When we arrived at the Brooklyn Lyceum located in Park Slope, the lines were already filled with enthusiastic patrons anxious to see the latest works of Brooklyn's hottest comic artists and animators. Uh, well, this is a good option too. Programs right over there on the bench. Okay. The main floor was packed with about 60 creative vendors who had plenty to show and tell. I caught up with Reagan the event coordinator who was busy running to and fro, making sure that all the details were in place for the conference's Brooklyn debut. The way that this differs from the type of convention that you would see at the Javits um, and at like Big Apple and Baltimore even is that there is a huge focus there on you know the standard superhero kind of comics. There's a lot of costume role playing. There's Jedi's. There's there's everything. And all of these guys, so many of whom are based out of Brooklyn, you know they will travel across the country to go to these things and get lost among all of that. And you know it's people have been clamoring to have a convention here for a really long time, but they're really wasn't a space big enough to do it. Our space is not big enough to do it. Ideally, as this grows, we'd like to see it expand all along 4th Avenue into other businesses and make 4th Avenue itself like the Javits and use it in that way, not only you know, to better the comics industry, but to bring, you know, to do for 4th Avenue what's happened to 5th Avenue and bring some of that life and that business here. So there's a lot of Brooklyn cartoonists as well, uh, and then a lot of these uh, folks showed up for this uh, first Brooklyn Comic Con show. So far, so good. We needed this. Brooklyn is the home to a lot of the originators of comics, you know, starting with Will Eisner, Jack Kirby. And we're talking about years and years ago, the progenitors of the comics form uh, started in Brooklyn. And it, it's a no-brainer to have a Comic-Con here. I don't understand why we haven't had one. You know, we have some in Manhattan, and that's great. But to be in Brooklyn is important, you know. This is the, the home of the comic book. Well, I love it. Uh, I mean, I live here in Park Slope, so I love the fact that there's something going on right here, you know, in the neighborhood. And does it surprise you? Uh, no, it doesn't surprise me. I think this is a great neighborhood, and I'm glad they got a good turnout. Brooklyn's always been a hotbed for creativity, so it just, it's a natural progression that something like this would happen here. There's so many comic book creators that are, live in Brooklyn or born in Brooklyn. Oh yeah, it's huge. Back on the floor, there seemed to be something for everyone. Why are you here? Because my, my teacher, my best friend, Mr. Polly, he invited me here. And it's, it's, a, great, it's a great place to be because I like comic books and everything, and I drew with him. So it's good to be here right now. Who knew that this community existed? Did you? Uh, I always hoped it did, but everyone went into Manhattan, so it's nice that it's happening here. It's easy to get to. A lot of writers and artists from Brooklyn uh, it's, it's just wonderful. It's wonderful. It's parents, it's children, it's artists, it's writers, it's wannabes, it's teachers, it's, it's everyone in the community. And it's got some big name people. Like, you know, right behind us you have Neil Adams who used to do Batman and he's just, you know, terrific. It's turned into a better place. Yeah. We used to live in this neighborhood for 10 years and uh, it was a kind of a chancy neighborhood. Now, my lord. Oh, it's I mean, we come to the parade every year. We, you know, this is totally new and wonderful. I mean, it's turned into a place. Brooklyn, it's hard to believe that yeah, Brooklyn's become a place. So this is the first one in Brooklyn. What do you think? Well, I think the, that uh, Brooklyn is uh, finally entering the 20th century. I grew up in Brooklyn where uh, guys like you who speak English properly really could never live here. <laughs> I'm afraid uh, Brooklyn was a very, very tough place to live in. But it's evolved, it's getting better all the time. Uh, it's, a, it's, it's, it's actually a place to be in. For Brooklyn Review, you've been around town with Fred Brown. Brooklyn Independent Television on the BCAT TV Network.